Well, let's look at how to calculate factorial using both the iterative and the recursive approach. So first of all, let's put some comments in here. So iterative factorial, and we want one for recursive factorial. All right, so we need both the iterative factorial and the recursive factorial. I'm going to go ahead and print them out. Just so you know what factorial is, let's put some notes here. So we're going to calculate 5 factorial. That's a good number. Pretty easy. So 5 factorial, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to 120. So I'm going to go ahead and run some functions. Well, that aren't written yet. So I got a C out and my first function will be factorial one or fact one. It's actually just say fact one of five equals. And we'll do fact one of five and and that with a new line. All right, and then we want factorial method two of five, just so we can compare these and make sure they all work correctly. Let's go ahead and write the functions. First of all, factorial five. So I'm going to do an integer function. So factorial one is going to receive an integer num. And what it wants to do is calculate out how many that is. Well, what we know is the return value, we'll just start with our value equaling one because we don't want to multiply times zeros and so that. So we want to start with one and then we want to have an iterative loop. So an iterative loop. And I like for loops. So we'll do a for loop for int i equals and we could either do one and count up or we can count down it's either way we just decide how we're gonna do it so let's do a count up or count down let's do count down and so we start with i equaling num and then while i is greater than one we're gonna do an i minus minus and then all we need to do is just multiply that number times our r value and reset the r value so i could do our value because our dot value times i or i was doing our value times equals i and then i'm going to return this value when the loop is over so return value and return our value so you can see basically the idea with the iterative approach is you just run something multiple times in a loop the recursive function's a little different. So I do int fact two, and I'll receive the same input, num. And it's divided into two pieces. There is the, the base case, and then there's the iterative step, or the inductive step. All right, so in the base case, we say, well, factorial of one is, well, one. So we say if num equals one, then we just return one. So that's pretty easy. But the inductive step is, well, if we have a factorial of two, then we return two times factorial of one. And factorial of three is three times factorial of two. So I can say we will return whatever we have, so our num times factorial of two, fact two of my num minus one. So <clears throat> if I do five factorial, it will go through here and it'll say it's not one. And so we'll say, well, it's five times four factorial. So well, four factorial gets called. 
So that looks and says, is it one? It says, nope. So it's actually four times three factorial. And it goes through and it says, is that one? Nope, it is not. So we do three times two factorial. And then we go down here and it says, is that one? Nope. And so we do one or yeah, two times uh, one factorial. And then it goes down to here and says, yep, that's one returns one. And then it says two times one, then it is three times two times one, and then four times three times two times one, and then five times four times three times two times one. And then you get your answer returned. So that's how it works with the recursive functions. So let's go ahead and run both of these, and we will see if both of these methods work. We can see that my text right here is text. And it says that factorial of 5 using the iterative factorial method did, in fact, return the correct answer. And my recursive factorial of 5 did, in fact, also return the correct number. So that is the difference between the two methods, the iterative approach to factorial and the recursive approach to factorial.